Please, Mistra. Color me curious. The game marks as faded as the memories of the children that played them. I wonder what became of them. Goblins ahead. Look it, Claw. Sapper's here. Unless you've got another reason to be here. Feck sight. As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. Good for you, mate. Now get out of my sight before my wall grips you a new hole. Um, down, Claw! Bad girl! A shiver runs across your mind. You feel sated. Easy, lads. We got a true soul coming through. I don't know any house in your excelness. Oh, one of them thieves. If he ain't dead... He's in the pits with the rest of them. The pits? He couldn't be somewhere pleasant sounding, could he? Better still be alive. Lads are celebrating the raid on Joaquin's rest. We kept it a duke, we did. All the way from the city. I, I'm sure the higher ups will make sure you get the best of the spoils, your excelness. The boss is in the temple inside. Mithara, too. And, and Priestess Gut can show you how many new recruits we got. These big folks can guard the place themselves. Let us off the hook. Blessed be. is irresistible. You recognize the overwhelming authority that you've used on others, only infinitely stronger, and turned against you. Your vision clouds, leaving you in a dark, featureless shadowscape, nothingness in every direction. Then there are three figures before you, an armored male elf exuding power and command, a handsome younger man with a quick, easy smile. And a pale young woman with even paler eyes. These are my chosen. They speak for me. Aid their search for the prison, and you will be worthy to stand beside them. In my...
energy pulsing from the artifact, lifting the pain from you, pushing the voice away. My power grows. My forces gather. Give me that look. I don't know what just happened any more than you do. We should keep going. I don't know what that toy of hers is, but I'm glad it's on our side. I don't know. Not exactly. All I know is it's important I get it back to Baldur's Gate. At any cost. I suppose, if we're to continue together, I may as well tell you. I serve Shah. My home is a secret cloister in Baldur's Gate. A group of us were sent to retrieve the artifact. Now I'm the only one left. I can't afford to fail. I can't tell you anymore. This mission required utmost secrecy. We all submitted to having our memories suppressed so that we couldn't betray Shah's confidence. If I reach my contact in the city, I'll have my memories restored. Until then, I have to guard the artifact with my life. There. You have the truth, for all it's worth. Let's continue. You worship Shah? Blimey. She and my beloved Mistra are not exactly friends. Forever, ideally. And you assume too much about what I can and cannot tell. Secrecy is everything for Shah's children. It's our code, our creed, our shield. I'm not sorry I kept this from you. Not one bit. Though perhaps that might change. If you can show an open mind. Talk to me later. We've got more pressing matters to see to right now. There's nothing more I can tell you. All I remember is that I have to get back to my contact in the city. A powerful artifact indeed, to have caught the attention of so many. Not least the Absolute itself. The three figures in the vision, the Chosen, are searching for it. With the cultists' aid, it will not be long before they find it before they find you. You have evaded them so far, thanks, it seems, to the artifact itself. But how long can such protection last? Shadowheart has made her position clear. She will see that it is taken to its destination, at any cost. And you still do not know what it even is. Trust me, I'll guard it with my life. Let's keep going. Sounds like they've touched the themselves a lot. In the quarry! Be you beguiling? Come! With fragulous crown and with scepter abraid, draw Ragslin, short work of the innkeeper made. The inn burnt to ash. The captives were many. Goblet kind had reduced them to cowering filfenny. So, raise it, your goblets, and drain them with pride. Draw Ragslin, the true soul, had led you go out. You, move off! 
do as she says. Now. <clears throat> now, where was I? Huh? Wait a tick. That a friend of yours? Oops, certainly not. What are you doing? I'm busy here. You lying. To you? Never. Come, let's continue our ballad. <clears throat> Uh, draw Ragslin, uh, draw Ragslin. Um, uh, uh, um, uh, I am a draw Ragslin. Um, um, come choose, uh, draw Ragslin. Uh, um. You broke him. Wait, wait. Draw Ragslin. We pray. We come on, pigeon. Back to your cage. Now, look what you've done. Come on! Of course, man. My name's Gribbo, idiot! Right, yes. More fool me. You going on the next ride? Bring Who took in King Flee? It won't for sale! Get off your arse! So, I'm shooting arrows at him. This other guy... Her patronage couldn't spare this place from goblins, clearly. the dwarf just... Stop bleeding! Just away from the merchandise! These goblins care much for their prisoners' welfare. We should make haste. This place is making me feel stupider by the second. I mean, more stupid. Ugh. A disgusting waste of stonecraft. Bloody racket! Oh, come on now. They're just having a bit of fun. Aye, so much fun that those thieves almost got past. We got them now, eh? Oi! Ain't no party in here. We're doing the absolute's work. State your business. Now. The mark glows, but you feel nothing in response. Your illithid power is beyond reach until you rest. Type, I suppose. Gonna have to be a bit more specific, though, mate. Absolute's got a few favourites around here. You here to see Priestess Gut, Boss Ragslin, or the Drow? <laughs> Audience is right. She's an uppity one, and no mistake, but she knows her business. She's in telling the war chiefs what's what. Next raid's gonna be a big un, I hear. Bloody racket. Saluna. As if mingling with a horde of goblins wasn't bad enough. Let's do what we have to do, then get out of here. the understatement, but yes, let's not linger in this place any more than necessary. I venture forth. Do you hear the Absolute's voice? Do you feel Nah, 
my kids agonize Keep your hands to yourself. You're being watched. Don't go bothering my pigeon. He's mine. Keep him safe. Listen to him coo. Till I get hungry or some such. What's it to ya? Then catch one on your own! The mark glows, but you feel nothing in response. Your illithid power is beyond reach until you rest. for a joke, why don't ya? And don't let the lads snatch him up. No telling what they'll do to him. Bring him back when he's all tuckered out. Here's the key. Pigeon's all yours. Haha! <laughs> Look at this! I'm quite saved! I guarantee the story of your daring rescue of my person will live on for eons. Volothemp Geda, realm renowned author, author, and tastemaker at your service. Once I've written you into one of my books, there won't be a tavern in Feru you can enter without receiving a hero's welcome. We mustn't tarry, but I hate for our friendship to end here. Please, won't you meet me once we've both slipped the goblin yoke? Smashing! Soon, my friend. Soon we can share the flagon of something liquid and a tale of daring do. I'll slip away when the coast is clear. See you soon, my friend. I simply can't wait to pick your brain!
I can do that. Ah, my good fellow. Quite the cosy setup you have here. I'll just make myself comfortable. Thank you so much. I was just settling in and reviewing my latest findings. Mind flayers, cultists, and, of course, your esteemed company. <laughs> Why, I'm practically an expert. They've tentacles, you know. Quite shocking. The druid Halson had some kind of mind flare specimen in a jar in his quarters. A replica, no doubt, but truly fascinating to see up close. Here, on the Sword Coast. Impossible. That... that can't be. You're mad! But, tell me, have you noticed any residual psionic malaise since the alleged encounter? That's quite impossible. You'd have undergone ceramorphosis by now. I can't attest to the specifics, but I do know that not long after insertion, the host, that's you, turns into a mind flayer. As there's not a tentacle on your head, I can only assume you haven't been infected. If what you say were true, you'd be a mind flayer by now. You? Infected by a mind flayer? <laughs> Ridiculous. Isn't it? Perhaps that's for the best. I'd be irresponsible not to debunk such a strange claim. If I just peer in your eye, I could quickly... Oh, my dear sweet God! If we managed it, we'd have a specimen of incredible rarity on our hands. I'll need to research the particulars, however. Give me a bit of time, and I'll have this little issue sorted. shake as they reach upward. Your forehead remains drenched no matter how much you wipe. Chukil gate vlaketh mazathok. Can you feel it crawling through you? Tendrils squirming in your chest, gripping your heart, piercing your belly. Your bones popping, your flesh swelling. I can. I see it in you. I feel it in me. We are lost. I will be quick with my blade. First you, then the others, then myself. Your minds intertwine. You sense a touch of uncertainty, a touch of disgust. swims across your vision and a familiar voice tells you to be calm. You are loved. Lazelle's fear grips you. Not fear of death, but fear of 
insignificance. The great warrior Lazel, a failure to her kind. She will wield no silver sword, ride no red dragon. Forever unknown to the great Lich Queen Vlacketh. I will not let the Geich take me. I will earn Vlacketh's honor. I will wait. But know this, I am watching. If the sickness does not pass come dawn, I will end us all. I came just in time. You are transforming. Yes, you have. I saved you before. And I'm here to save you again. Don't worry. You will not become a Mind Flayer. Not while I'm around. I'll protect you. We haven't much time, so listen closely. There is great potential within you. It comes from that parasite. Your instinct is to resist the power it gives, but you must accept it, nurture it. I will keep it from consuming you, but for the sake of both of us, you must learn to wield it. for the fate of Faerun, a fight we are losing, for now. You can change that, but only if you embrace your potential. I have to go. The enemy is closing in. I will be back.